Hi everyone, Thomas here. It's great you could join me, because I've got a story to tell you. All about Marion and a talking tree. Marion was busy clearing an old siding when... Hey, be careful. You nearly hit me. Mr. Tree, I'm so sorry. I nearly hit you. Are you okay? Don't worry. I'm not going to dig you up. Not now I know you're a real talking Christmas tree. Marion had never met a talking Christmas tree. She was very excited, and she had to tell someone. You won't believe what I found, Thomas. A talking Christmas tree! <laughs> You're right, dear. <laughs> we don't believe you. Soon, everyone had heard about Marion's talking tree. I know you all think I imagined my talking Christmas tree, but I've come to see someone who I know will listen to me, Sir Topham Hatt. Maybe Marion really did find something. I knew I had to go and see for myself, and I discovered... Oh! Percy, meet Marion's talking Christmas tree. This is Glynn. Guess what, Thomas? Marion's bringing Sir Topham Hat here right now. Once he sees I'm in the way on these sidings, then he'll have to move me again. Oh, to the scrapyard, I expect. No! no! But when Marion and Sir Topham had arrived, the talking tree had disappeared. He was here, sir. He was. I was talking to him. We didn't want Glenn to be scrapped, so we had to think of a plan to save him. And Percy knew exactly who could help us. Oh, Thomas, you were right. This is a very special engine indeed. The Earl sent Glenn to the Steamworks to be restored. <gasps> but then, Sir Topham had arrived. How did you know we were here, sir? Oh, because the Earl kindly called to ask my permission to have Glynn restored. I'm only sorry I didn't think of it myself. Glynn got the special job of taking Sir Topham Hatt to the Earl's Christmas party. On the way, he met Mary. Hello! Nice to see you again. Oh, it's you! <laughs> I didn't recognize you with all those decorations. I thought you disappeared, but I suppose you planned to come Marion was really happy to see Glynn, even all. though she still thought he was a talking Christmas tree. And the Earl was really happy too. Another engine working here at the castle is the best present I could have wished for. Merry Christmas, one and all. That's the story of Glynn the Christmas Coffee Pot. Merry Christmas! Hello! It's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more!